So then we'll go ahead and bypass the heater so we don't have to worry about putting antifreeze in the heater, which they don't recommend anyway. So basically we remove this plug here. And then once we do, we open this valve, which vents it on the top. And then it, instead of gurgling out slowly, it pours out quite readily. So that's it. And then actually what I'll probably do is move the truck so the tail is down and that will drain that completely. Usually they recommend leaving that open. So it allows uh, it to quote unquote breathe. And if you have any residue on the bottom at all and it freezes, it's not going to expand to the point where it'll damage anything. In our first step, drain the water tank. In this case, it's a 64 gallon interior tank. This is the electric slash water cab. Right there is the valve and it's in the open position. Most of the valves work that way. If they're in line with the, with the actual tube, it's open. And you go across the tube, 90 degrees to it, and that, that closes the valve. So this drains that, comes out of the bottom right here. And we've already, we've already done that. In good shape there. So you definitely want to get the water out of the water tank by changing the angle of the, of, of the coach, of the Bigfoot here. Um, we've got the, uh, the tail up a little bit right now and the left side down and quite a bit more came out. So that'll be completely drained at this point. And then we drained right there is the rest of the gray water, just a little tiny trickle of gray water. Everything else is empty, black tank is empty. And uh, now we'll start working on the inside. So this is the 60 below Fahrenheit. This is the non-toxic propylene glycol, free of alcohol, so it won't damage seals or anything metal in the system. So here we go. This is the intake uh, hose for the antifreeze. I have it on the intake position right there. And we'll see if we can look inside. And there, this is, in the bypass position, and where is the other? And that's in the bypass position. So those are both in the bypass position now. So we're not going to be pumping any antifreeze into the water heater, which is right here, which is open and drained. And we're going to check all that as we go, but that, that is the plan. And then these will be turned into the opposite position as to which they are now for normal running back, you know, in the springtime when it's not freezing anymore, or run regular water through. And you can see what this is, negative 60 West Marine, good stuff. Okay. Briggs, I'm gonna have you film this. Yeah. Film that. Yeah. And I'm going to turn the water pump on and we should start to see that drop. Okay. Ready? Yep. Ready, and... Okay. Nothing. Yeah. Oh wow, that's fast. Okay. Wait, but the bottle's not turned the right way. I can't see what is midway. What? Uh, I think that's good. Is that good? Okay, so you can see that draw? Yeah. All right, good. So we just started with the kitchen sink. We did the cold side and the hot side. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go through all the systems. We have the bathroom sink. We have the toilet, the shower indoors, hot mm -hmm. and cold. Uh, we have the shower outdoors, hot and cold. Yeah. And then we're going to pour antifreeze into every single one of those drains. Wow. So we can make sure that the traps have antifreeze in them. Yeah. And then we'll pour additional fluid into the toilet mm -hmm. and, and enough into the drains that will have uh, a residue level in both the black and the gray tank. Yeah. So that'll keep everything from freezing. So how many bottles do you think this will take? I'm not sure, we're gonna try it. We've never done it before okay. in this unit. So um, three, four, six gallons.
Now, if you can't see the color, I have trouble seeing the color, you can actually feel it. And when it feels slippery, you know it's cooling. But I can, that's, I can see the color there. Okay, so we've got plenty of that oh, through there. Can I see? Yeah, you want, you want to come over and do the, Oh, wow. Yeah, all right. Come on over and do the sink side here. Yep. And you're going to see clear water initially. Okay. Tell me when, when it changes colors. Okay. Hmm. Color or no? No. Okay. The pipes are long. There's quite a bit of volume in there. Yeah. Of, of fresh water. And so typically what I do, I'll, I'll do the cold side first mm -hmm. and separate them. Just so we really get a good a good flow through. What do you see? Oh, I'm starting to see oh, color. Yep, I did. There I we go. That. Okay, now we'll go to the hot side. No and tell color. me when it gets just color. as purple. Good? Yep. Okay. Nice. nice. Nice work. Okay. And then let's open the bathroom door. Yeah. Well, these are new flannel bed sheets for I know, aren't those cool? Yeah. I like them. I like them a lot. All right, good deal. Okay, so let's let's you, you can yeah. step on open the toilet actually. Okay. Okay. Now step on the on the yeah. gizmo. Okay. Jeez. And you will Purple. see it flow. Yeah. Okay. We're done. I did right. not know to have an actual flowing thing. Oh yeah, for I sure. I actually sit a little too far in the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But you know I don't know because we don't use it. Okay. So um, this one I am going to tackle because God. well I'll tell you what here. Make sure that's you down. You can you. Can, it's okay. It's just, it's just, it's, it's, it's wet. It's angry. That's all it is. It's not toxic. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Ready? Oh. Turn your cold on. There we go. Just stand back so we can see why it's purple. Okay. Did you turn both on? No. Yeah, that's fine. Wait a second. Wait a second. Oh, stop it. Shut it off. Shut it off. We don't want to, we don't want to starve the water pump. Okay. And we'll go put another bottle on there. Oh. Like that. Right, we do a little transfer here. Down there, here, that up. Going to try not to spill anything. It's focusing on your arm. <laughs> <laughs> this is literally, oh, yeah. I'm not even kidding. This is the easiest I know. memorization setup I've ever seen. So is that's touching. Made, is this made for? Um... This is exactly what it's made for. Yeah. All right, you ready to go back inside? Yeah. Okay. Here you go. Thank you. And you can do. Yep, yeah, it's a pump already on. Oh. Um. Uh, turn on the yeah, you can go ahead. Yeah. Turn on. The hot. Uh, yeah. It was the cold colored. Yeah. Look. It here, was. Here, go ahead. Here, sit back just a little bit. There you go. Perfect. Go. There it is. Okay, shut it. Shut it off. Turn the cold back on. Okay. Colored. Yeah. Okay. Shut it off. And then we're gonna do Wait, one more. Is it bad as flowing back there? No, 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 no. We're on we're on an angle so we can drain the tanks. Now, Briggsy, look. Yeah. Oh, the Yep. We're going to run just a touch through here. Will you film for me? On um, both, like how on both. Um, you know what? You don't have to do on both because it's just the same hose coming out. Yeah. But the reason we're doing this is because the hose has water in it. This hose has water in it as well. Yeah. So that would freeze. Yeah. Okay. Nice and purple. Good. And we'll go hot just for kicks. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Perfect. So now what? So that is all super done. Next. Is that oh, it? That's super purple. Is that it? All right, we'll, we'll hang this baby back up is here. It, is it good? Oh, uh, we have the outdoor shower. Yeah. Okay, ready? Yeah. Okay. I okay, we're going to do the outdoor shower. And a little bit hard to do with one hand, waiting for my my cameraman to come out. <laughs> Briggsy, will you hold this for me? Sure. Okay. Daddy, yeah. I am sorry I talk in the video. That's but okay. Quit. Did something very annoying. Not on the so, truck. <laughs> man. Yeah. Here. Okay. Wait. <laughs> Just, it's kind of hard, but go like, go like that. Okay. Just away from you and away from the truck. You don't yeah, want to spray the truck. Is it this way? I don't know. Ready? Okay, tell me when it changes color. Okay. Kind of hard to see in the shower. That looks pink to me. Uh, yeah. It's definitely it's changed definitely. color. Definitely. Ready? Here we go. Hot. Water, water side. I yep. mean, uh, hot water side. Uh, pink. Yes, pink. mom. Yeah. I'm okay, just right? giving it an extra like second. Yeah, that's the way pink. You, the way you can tell. 
way I slimy, can tell. yeah. Yep, it's slimy. Yep. And we are good. Excellent. And you're confident on, on the uh, yes. cold water side? Yes. Good stuff, guys. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so let's close this back up. Anything else? Um, we're going to go through it and just make sure. And just in case I've forgotten anything, but I don't think so. We don't, we don't have an ice maker in the fridge. Nope. We, um, we have... Tell them what, what we have already. Uh, we did the bath, uh, the, the sink there, and the sink there, the shower, and the bath, and the, and that's it. <laughs> Perfect. And Toilet? Uh, yeah, right, the toilet. toilet. Toilet, okay. Now you did the outdoor shower. Yep. Hot okay. tub? Did you do the hot tub? <laughs> we did. <laughs> if that had a nice machine, uh, they would be making antifreeze ice cubes. Pink ice cubes, Very yeah. Very sugary. Very sweet. Okay, so both... Gray and black valves are now closed. We had, okay. we had them open the entire time. Okay, so that you get some in the tanks then. So I'm leaving the 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 actual cap off for a moment. We're going to fit, put a little bit of the black and gray, and then what I do is I quickly open. I don't know who does this, but I do this. Quickly open the valves, just go boom boom and close them. And what that does is it coats the valve and everything right around it with a, just a touch of antifreeze. Mm -hmm. So there's no possibility those will freeze. Yeah. And then we and then we cap it on the outside. Mm -hmm. And then if anything drips into the cap, it's also Antifreeze. Here, let's leave, leave that open for now. We flipped. There's, there's three valves, two for the water heater bypass, and then one for one one for the uh, the intake right here. Mm -hmm. The hose is the perfect size. We set the gallon up. This is seriously only gallon number two, and it's done the entire system. So we've done the water heater drained entirely. We're going to leave this little valve open. We'll leave that open. That's what the instructions say to do. And then come on in. So we know we have no water forward of here. We've got the sink, hot and cold, right? Yep. We have we have the kitchen. Uh, sorry, the kitchen. We have the bathroom, hot and cold. That's that's all done. Toilet, shower, hot and cold, and the hose that's connected to it. It's so simple. I feel like we're missing something. No, it's. Can you think perfect. of anything else? No, no, no. That's everything. Okay. All right. Awesome. Okay. So change in plan. We're going to make this easy to dewinterize. Is that a word? I don't know if it is. Um, we had the uh, relief valve open. I'm going to close it right there. This is the water heater. I'm going to put this plug back in. Now this plug, I don't have one, but this could use a, a sacrificial anode, like a zinc. And that would be a good thing to, to put in here instead of this plug. So that's something that whoever is in this uh, should should consider doing. I'm going to get a wrench. I'll, I'll finish tightening it up. I'm going to leave this open until then. So we drew the antifreeze in through here. Okay, so this is the intake position. And I am going to switch it to normal. So when you're using it from the water tank, this is the way it's going to be. And this will draw water from the water tank through the water pump, and that's fine. But I am going to leave the, the water intake for the water heater bypassed for now. So I'm going to leave the water heater bypassed because when we are dewinterizing later on, uh, we'll fill the fresh water tank. And then there is going to be, you know, all the plumbing in, in the unit is full of antifreeze. So uh, what we wanna do is be able to flush that out the same way. So you'll use the water pump, which is in the proper position now, and that will pump the water through the lines, purge all the antifreeze out, and then it won't get into the, uh, none of that residue will get into the hot water heater. At that point, when you're comfortable that all the lines are fresh and, and, and uh, flushed with fresh water, it will go ahead and we'll switch the two switches, the two levers there, and that'll open the water heater back up and then that system will then fill the water heater with clean, fresh water. It just, it just saves a whole bunch of flushing and a whole bunch of steps. So now we have traps in every sink and, and basically that's to keep the gas from coming back up. It's all plumbing systems are set up this way. Um, this, uh, these, this, the sinks should already be full because we ran quite a bit of antifreeze through the system into the sinks. But what I wanna do now is make sure that we have just a little extra in the gray and the black tank and then, so we're go going to put some directly into the toilet, directly into a couple of these traps. It won't really matter where we put them. I'm just going to put a little bit in each one. OK. 
Okay, so we're going to hit each, each sink. I never like having, you know, sort of the pink in the sinks after the fact. So I'll come with a paper towel after and we'll, uh, we'll soak it all up. The shower clearly doesn't need anything because as soon as we take a, take a look at this, as soon as we get this level, mm -hmm. that's going to fill that that's trap there. That. Yeah. And the water pump is off, correct? Correct. Okay. So we have, we already have pink in here. Yep. So we don't need to worry and about that. I'm just going to dump the rest of this in there. Most of the rest of it anyway. All right. And we know, we know the black tank is empty. So all it's going to have is a, is a pretty good concentration of this. We'll just dump the rest of this down here. And that goes into the gray. And we're in good shape. Let me know if you think I'm missing anything. In the comments below. <laughs> in the comments below. <laughs> Down don't, here. Don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> All right, so that was fairly economical on the use of a very expensive antifreeze. Um, it's great because sometimes we've had units that use a lot more, um, usually just out of ignorance, but on our part. So we have uh, the monitor panel here, water pump. Water pump is off right now. Um, we have the master switch. When we're done with all of this and you're just letting the unit sit, uh, your fridge is off, um, you would want to shut your master off because then it won't drain the coach batteries down. You want to make sure the coach batteries are topped up, you know, full, full voltage because then they'll last the entire winter. Batteries, the death knell is if they drop below a certain voltage, the, electro, the electrolyte can freeze and then it just destroys the battery. So as long as they have a decent charge in them and they're not being drawn on, they can last for months just sitting by themselves in freezing temperatures. Um, we have the Atwood hot water heater right now. Now, theoretically, you know, I could turn this on and it would fire. Um, that wouldn't be good because the unit doesn't have any water in it. So we're going to put a piece of tape here, a reminder that says, do not turn this on until the system is ready to go. Um, this is our slide out, slide outs in and, and, you know, locked into position and that's sealed properly. Um, and, uh, uh, what else? Electrical. So we have the refrigerator. Here, I'll spin around here. The refrigerator is physically turned off, but it's also turned off by the master when we're done with all of this. You want to make sure that all of the condensation is out of the freezer. It has a little, just a little bit left there from uh, the frost that's there. Normally, we will uh, dry that off with a towel, and then we will prop these open, and that'll keep them from getting moldy, musty, anything like that. And then you would want to put something in like a desiccator. Um, a, uh, you can get something at West Marine. It's like a chemical desiccator. They have a few different types like that. Um, or if you've got the ability to be undercover, you know, have some ventilation, open a, a roof vent, have a window so you can have a, you know, convection ventilation because they, they can get moist over the winter. This unit is like brand new. It literally doesn't have any musty smell at all. We want to be able to maintain that. Uh, the other thing that can happen to these units is you can get rodents in them. This has, has never had anything like that, but um, you want to look around and see if there's any potential, uh, you know, holes, entry points. Um, the only spot that I see on this unit is where the power cord comes in. And then as the power comes up into that cabinet, there is an open hole right above there. And I think that it would make sense to put a screen of some sort there to make sure nothing gets in. Even if an animal got into the power cabinet, if you screen that off, they couldn't get into the rest of the coach. And I haven't seen any other potential entry ports uh, anywhere on this unit. So that's pretty good. And uh, all right. You've got, uh, what, four? You've got like 40 pounds worth of antifreeze there. This stuff is very heavy because it's full of nuclear waste. And so I'm just putting this in just, yeah, you know, I don't need this big wrench. I just can't reach this. So I'm just putting in it just a little snug. This is like a Teflon plug. So that won't leak. It's sort of self-sealing and uh, we're good to go. This is all closed up. I guess you can leave this open. I'm not sure. What do you think? Well, we'll make a decision later. Right. Yeah. Um, there's no water in there to freeze. So that's good. Close her back up. 